Radio YouTube. So I've got this Volvo S60. I've got a paint here, black. Um, yeah, pretty straightforward. Brand new bumper. Repair on the bonnet and repair on the fender. And yeah, blending both fenders. Simple, man. I've actually just had a couple of weeks off, so it's my first job back. Had to re-repair a couple of spots on this fender. I primed it just before lunchtime and then had to refill it and then re-prime it because it really wasn't very good. back ready to paint some shit it's always good to have a holiday we all need a break you know to make us sort of I guess remember why we work to enjoy our time off I guess you know that's what I like to do these days take uh, two weeks off over the Christmas time and two weeks off mid-year get out of the way had a guy paint by Clint you might know him from Instagram you may not they had him come back here he actually used to work here and um, he came in to help out because I was off and one of the other painters was off so I'm quite under staff and I came back and two people have left one of the panel meters and yeah one of the other panel meters one's given notice but one's gone sort of immediately type thing and the old guy Ray, who you may have seen from some raw vids, he's uh, he's having five weeks off. He's going on a cruise or something, and he wanted a week off either side of the cruise just to relax. Good on him. He's 72 years old or 78 or something like that. Still doing all right for an old fella. Lots of knowledge to pass on, you know. But yeah, at that age. I can't see myself working on wages. Might do a bit of hobby work or something, you know, making some YouTube vids if, if painting's still a thing by then. I'm sure it will be in some form, but probably robots taking over. Be smash repairs at least anyway. Um, so I did have another one. Where did I put it? There it is. Yeah, just a brand new plastic bump bar here. I'm just gonna plastic primer and paint straight over it. You don't need to wet on wet primer or you um, bare plastic parts a lot of the time I do but I do know it's not really necessary like it's going black so it's going to be a perfect ground coat and there's no damage on there's nothing I need to like fill up if it was going silver wouldn't want to put silver straight over the black so um, yeah I would put a quick coat of wow over it this is the anti-static cleaner I'm using here shouldn't really rub them, like keep rubbing and rubbing when you're wiping the stuff off. You should just try and do it in minimal strokes when you're cleaning them down because it can actually static back up. You can even static back up when you're tack clothing it. But I've found most of the time you do need to give them a quick tack drag. So it's our best to keep this job nice and clean. It is a black so you want to keep the polishing to a minimal obviously. Well you always do but especially on a black because Take a little bit more time to get rid of the swirlies and all that. We do have a guy out the back who's relatively new to the shop doing detailing, but they tell me it's a little bit slow. Sometimes we do have to go out there and help him out. It's not a big deal. Anyway, let's get this airbed cranking.
a bad zoo for a swap. I'm gonna go get a new one. I'm not using that. I'll use it over here. Because 
and actually sell it as a clay cardiac cap. So Bill Bush thought it was going to be the, the next best thing is a, a clay cardiac cap. So I wouldn't say it's a great clay cardiac cap. Another little smudge on that blend. Uh, it might just be a bit of clear, but I don't want to find out the hard way. I'll just make sure we get it off before I blend over it. Where was it just here? So, yeah, we'll give it two, two tack plus over the whole job. What's this doing here? A friend helped me, workmate helped me mask this up. I'm not happy with that. A little bit of masking there, it's actually touching the panel. So, we'll get that off. There we go. Nice tacky, get it nice and clean. It's not going to need any blending aid on a colour like this. That's another thing I like about the um, off rule. They reckon, no, they don't use any base coat blender. Even on their silvers and light metallic, and their base coat blender as well. Wow, that sounds pretty cool. I found it a little bit more like spraying silver, whereas you just put your three coats on. You don't have to go and absolutely heave it on like they recommend with the Chrome Max Pro. So lighter coats, dry quicker, and less piss farting around with blowers in your hands, waiting for coats to dry. Waiting for really, really wet coats to dry, I should say. Yeah, a bit of silicon. This car is kind of being covered in some sort of silicon or side base cleaner. God damn it. I reckon I'm going to have some open up in the clear coat. Funny thing is, I don't quite clean enough. The weather is getting a bit colder, and yeah, in the last two weeks it has cooled down, so I found I need to use a little bit more higher pressure in the cooler months. Yeah, there's probably some people from like Europe and even like the colder parts of America who watch my videos and just think, well, this guy doesn't know what he's on about, his settings are totally wrong. Well, you know, you've got to remember where I'm praying most of the year, it's really hot. So we have to lower those pressures. And this does still actually feel a touch low. I mean, it's going on okay, but I think it's about go. So what's that? Closer to 25. There was um, a few stone tips through this product, so um, I filled them up. I'll give it a couple of quick coats of black over the whole thing. days and he's like said a total dick in the comment section and don't take this the wrong way it's totally not like I care I, I really don't care but he's like so hard on for me he's like oh man you're such an idiot you've got no idea how to play and then two days later he's back in the comments again telling me how much of an idiot I am and it's like mate if you think my videos are so shit and I've got no idea why do you keep watching them like if I come across videos that of creators that I don't like 
you know, I might even leave a negative comment sometimes, but I don't come back and, like, harass them, you know. It's like, yeah, I'll watch that video, I'll, I'll give my criticism, and then I'll move on with my life instead of just, like, I don't know, dwelling on how much I hate someone. It, it reflects more on him than it does me, to be honest, I think, anyway. I don't know, is he called himself a fishing man or something like that? No, oh, well, stick your fish and match painting maybe not for you. I think most of it comes from, like, jealousy. Like, he's probably a decent painter in his own right. And he looks at me and thinks, oh, I'm better than him. You know, I could do a better job than that. He doesn't know what he's on about. Um, and, yeah, just decides to be a dick in the comments section. like oh have enough of the bloody ads in your videos these stupid videos and i'm like mate you can um <laughs> i replied to him i said you can email my complaint team for a full refund you know you didn't pay a cent you come here and expect what do you expect you know you don't like it you don't have to watch me Coat, just about. Gonna go out, clean this gun out, let this flash off for five or so minutes, get some clear in the gun, and come back and clear this bad boy up. Get it all shiny again, baby. And then go home. It's about 25 minutes. Let's do it! Woo! Oh my god, how did I leave you alone for two weeks? I miss you so much, vigilante. Oh yeah. You know just where to tuck me in the right spot, don't you, Janet? Who else talks to their spray gun? Double header the bumper. 
thing cut, like give that a few minutes to flat job, come back and put a glamour on it, and that'll look good. Hopefully this, I might have to pop up and flat right there. Probably not quite there, no. Yeah, just coming out of the gun a lot nicer, and this is no reducer in there. No reducer, not heated. Straight out of the can, with hardener in it. cam on for that last coat but I didn't but um that's the end result so that's the challenger clear $110 for a seven liter kit absolutely can't knock that and that's a pretty nice finish really yeah there's only a few nips in it nice nice and flat so one little bit of silica in there I'll just dab in before I go home and clean the guns out and that's it thanks for watching see you in the next one coming out